Welcome to the Country Castle. My name is Sarah and I am so excited that you guys have joined me on my channel. I am also really excited to share with you my top five favorite holiday tips for decorating your home. These are timeless pieces that I feel like makes every holiday season very magical and just gives you that beautiful ambiance of Christmas. So I wanted to share with you some of my favorite items that I bring out year after year to just make it beautiful and magical in our home. And I wanted to share with you that I'm so honored that you are here and that you are supporting my channel. Thank you. I am new to this space and I appreciate your feedback and the comments and I'm doing my best to deliver. I am working on a home tour of our beautiful home and I'm also working on a kitchen tour for those who've been asking about our kitchen, which is kind of a unique space. And so we will be doing a future video on that as well. But I wanted to share with you all of my favorite things. So let's get going. Okay, next I want to talk garlands. I love the beautiful evergreen garlands that you can put on your fireplace or down your staircase. Um, I have them over my entryways in my living room and family room, but I also wanted to share with you felted garlands are a must have for me. I think they're timeless and they're beautiful and I never get tired of them. I picked this Merry Christmas garland up at a beautiful little quaint Christmas market. So keep your eye out for those. I also have this one hanging on my hutch and I love it. And I've got another one right here over my little stove. So this is definitely a Christmas must have. It's fun to collect different unique ones. I plant as many as I can that I think are beautiful, but these are my favorite. I love them. to share is candles. Candles are a beautiful all year round decor and they just add that warmth and that beauty to any space. I kind of have an affinity for flameless candles. I love real candles as well. Like I don't think anything will ever replace an actual flame quite like the real candles, but there are beautiful options for flameless candles that I love that I don't have to worry about an open flame and something catching fire because I love having them in different places in my house. So these are a beautiful option and I have more throughout my home that I want to share with you and show you where I've placed them. I have everything linked on my Amazon storefront. These are my favorites, but there's a lot out there. I hope this helps you in being able to bring that warmth and that calm to your own space.
One of my very favorite holiday decor it items. so sweet and magical. I always love them and I never get tired of them. I love a sparkly one, but I also love a variety of different treats. If you don't have a lot of room in your home, having these around on like your surfaces is a great way to just bring some holiday cheer and decor to that space. And I just, I love picking new ones up every year. So I have quite a few throughout my house and I will show you where I've placed those. I love putting them down the middle of the table, like on a table runner, um, but I love that they can kind of just go anywhere. So it's definitely a Christmas decor must have on my list. Now I'm going to share with you my favorite thing for centerpieces. I love using stone vases for an all year round decor and then you just swap out greenery for whatever season you're in. I will put, I have put dried hydrangeas in here. Right now for the winter I have these beautiful sprucey lens that are fake that I got at Hobby Lobby. I just stuck them in my vase and put my hydrangeas somewhere else. And when it's not winter anymore, I will pop different um, greenery or my flowers, my hydrangeas back in this vase. But it just allows you to be able to interchange your decor without having to store a lot of decor. So I'm gonna show you where I have put these centerpieces around my home and how I have added to these. Another one of my favorites is I bought these eucalyptus um, branches. I use these all year round. They are beautiful. I never get tired of them. And all I did this year was I added some beautiful little red berries with a little bit of a pine spruce combination to it. And I have just stuck them in my vase and this is a centerpiece on one of my coffee tables and it works beautifully as a piece of Christmas decor without having to change it up too much but this just adds that beautiful Christmas touch. velvet ribbon hanging from my staircase. I'm using it to hold up my garlands to tie them up. I also have my Christmas stockings tied with velvet ribbon. It's just beautiful. It's timeless and you will never get tired of it. I have a DIY for you on how to make your own velvet ribbon bows. The thing I love about these is that I have a wire on the back and you can just easily attach it anywhere you want it. I have them here on my tree. I also have them hanging from my chandeliers so that they're easy to take on and off. And I love that it kind of just all goes together. I have the same color on my tree and the same color on my chandeliers. I'm gonna show you how I easily made my own velvet bows for my Christmas decor. You can buy these pre-made on Amazon. You can buy about 12 for $40. I was able to buy a 30 yard spool of velvet ribbon and made 35 bows for $10. So it's way more cost effective if you make them yourselves. You can also pick out what color of ribbon you want so you have a little bit more creative control on the color. 
and it's very easy. We're gonna use some jewelry wire, a hot glue gun, and we're gonna start with a 24 inch piece of ribbon. We are going to crisscross it a quarter of the way down and then we are going to grab the top of the ribbon and bring it down to our fingers. This is going to be the center of your bow. I'm just going to adjust it a little bit to get it ready to place my wire. I have a one inch piece of wire that I have pre-cut that we are going to wrap around the center to secure our bow. Once we have secured it with the wire, you can make minor adjustments and then we are going to place a five inch piece of wire underneath that same wire in the center of the bow. And this is what we will use to put it on the tree or wherever else we want to put it. We are going to take a one inch piece of velvet ribbon and wrap it around that to hide the wire and then we are done. It is so easy and simple. Once you start making them, it just goes so quickly and it is such a beautiful addition to your holiday decor. I hope this gives you some really good ideas for what to narrow in on. I feel like if you have the ambiance of candles, you'll never go wrong. Beautiful centerpieces are just timeless and you'll always love them. Velvet bows are, I will never get tired of velvet bows. They are my favorite. Thank you for joining me today for my Christmas decor favorites. And I will be back next week with more videos. Thank you for subscribing and please leave comments. I love your feedback. It gives me ideas for what content to bring here. So keep the comments coming and I hope you share this with your friends. I hope that this helps you in narrowing down your own decor items for your holiday season and what you wanna put in your home. And I will be back next week with more videos.